the A-Rex Rex Zero One Compact, one of the best kept secrets in pistols? Let's talk about it. A Slovenian gun imported by the Fine Group. A lot of people compare this to the Sig Sauer P226 or P229 series, and in a lot of ways it does compare, but in some ways it stands on its own. Both the A-Rex and the Sig Sauer are single double action full metal frame pistols, and while the Sig Sauer has a proven track record, I will say the A-Rex has been very durable and been nothing but reliable for me. Both have very similar dimensions. Uh, both are roughly an inch and a half wide, five inches high, seven inches long. The Sig Sauer has a little bit longer barrel and the barrel length of the actual A-Rex is 3.8 inches in the compact. Both are aluminum alloy frames and steel slides, yet the Sig Sauer is 35 ounces compared to the A-Rex's 25 ounces, so the Sig Sauer is a lot heftier than the A-Rex. Another big difference is the MSRP of both pistols. And the MSRP of the Sig Sauer P226 is roughly $1,600 according to Gun Critic and 958 used while the MSRP of the A-Rex 01 Compact, according to the Fine Group's website, is only a mere $589.99. I will say I bought this gun used, and I bought it used for $400, which I think is a heck of a deal. So what comes with the A-Rex? The A-Rex comes with a gun lock, a manual, a pretty good color manual, pretty detailed, it comes with two 15 round magazines and the pistol itself. It comes with your typical 3-dot sighting system, Nothing special. There are aftermarket night sights, kind of hard to find, roughly about a hundred bucks. And the grips, I changed the grips out for uh, G10 Piranha grips, and those cost me about 50 bucks. The slide to frame tolerance is very tight, not a lot of movement. The magazine release is ambidextrous, and it has a positive magazine release. It actually ejects the magazine. Magazines also aren't the easiest to find. They aren't hard either, and they'll run you about $20 to $25 depending on the website. I find them for $25, and they're good Metgar magazines. It has an interesting slide stop slide release. It also acts as a decocker. The slide stop slide release is also not ambidextrous. It does have a safety, so if you're one of those people that don't like safeties, um, that is something to keep in mind. It is ambidextrous. It is a positive safety. I like the safety on it and it completely disengages the trigger. It does have a decocker and while I like that function as a single double action pistol, I don't like the position that the decocker is on this particular pistol only because of where I put my thumbs. It has a very heavy double action pull just like most single double action pistols. I think the pull on it is roughly 10 to 12 pounds depending on how many rounds you put through it. It has a very crisp single action trigger though. I do like the trigger on this. I don't find any aftermarket triggers but I wouldn't change it to be honest with you. It has a very clean and crisp break. You do have a little bit of take up before you hit the wall but when you hit that wall it does just drop that hammer. It's really nice. I, I do like the trigger on this firearm. It has a very tactile and audible trigger reset. It's a very good reset. Kind of springs your trigger finger forward a little bit. I like that in a gun uh, because I know when my trigger's resetting. Disassembling the gun is very easy. You lock your slide back and then the takedown lever, you pull forward and you can just pull your slide off. A feature that I really like on the A-Rex is that your slide rails are super long and they're metal rails. They go almost the entire length of the frame. They're really smooth. When you rack the slide, it is just a very smooth feeling slide. So there's a lot of quality that goes into that. I believe that the machining tolerances are very good. I do know that this gun is made in an ISO 2001 factory and that is a very high standard of machining. It is not a captured spring and guide rod, but I do find that it's hard to take the guide rod and spring out. And the barrel is very nicely machined as well, and the feed ramp is nicely polished. Everything that I've shot through this pistol has been 100% reliable for me. I have shot steel cased, aluminum cased, brass, 
hollow points, full metal jacket, frangible, self-defense ammo, everything has been 100% reliable through this. I probably have close to 3,000 rounds personally through this. I do not know how many rounds the previous owners had through this, but I will say he did take very good condition of this. Everything was in very good shape when I bought it from him. So I have to think that this pistol is probably a safe queen. But from the 3,000 rounds that I've shot through this, I see very little wear on it. So I do know the machining and whatever uh, treatment that they put on the slide and barrel has been very good. Very durable. Another neat feature is that when you reassemble this pistol, you just slide the slide back, and when you pop the slide back, it automatically disengages that uh, takedown pin. That is a very good feature on this that you don't have to worry about locking the slide back and then uh, moving the takedown pin forward. I know that's a really small thing to think about, but it's just kind of a nice added feature. Like I've mentioned before, the magazines actually shoot out when you eject it. It makes it really easy for magazine changes. I do really like that feature on most pistols. Some pistols, the, when you push the magazine release, the magazines do kind of get stuck. Uh, it's not the case for this. I do like that A-Rex did put in Metgar metal magazines, very high quality. Uh, I don't really like plastic mags even though polymers are very strong. I just prefer metal and it's uh, kind of a nice touch. Like the P226 series, it has a very high bore axis, uh, but it's got a nice beaver tail, so you can get a nice purchase and a nice grip on this pistol. I uh, find that it is very easily controlled, it's got a nice weight to it. Even though this is considered a compact pistol, it is uh, one pistol that would be kind of hard to conceal carry, and holsters are kind of hard to find. I do recommend that you put a light on any sort of self-defense weapon that uh, that you're going to utilize. Uh, target acquisition is one of the most important things when you're using a pistol, especially for self-defense, especially if you have family members, kids, loved ones in the house. You want to be able to make sure that you can um, identify whatever target that you're aiming at before you shoot. One complaint that I do have with this pistol is that the factory grips are very slick, very smooth, made it hard to grip, so that's why I chose to buy that Hogue uh, G10 Piranha grip. Um, not a lot of colors to choose from. I had to choose that green. I've got the FDE lower on it. I don't think it looks bad. There's three colors that this pistol does come in though. It comes in the FDE as you see pictured here. It comes in an all black. And it comes in a uh, all nickel one, which is kind of nice looking, to be honest with you. So overall, if you could pick up this pistol for $400 or less used, like I do see in the used market, this is a very, very high quality pistol for $400. Is it a 6 hour P226? No, it isn't. But it acts like it, it shoots like it, it's a very easy shooter. I suggest to everyone who shoots pistols to have at least one single double action in their collection. And if you're on a budget like I am, I think this will make an absolutely great addition to any gun enthusiast collection.